but had a dope ass sandwich. I shouldn't say dope. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts. What's up, everybody? So it's about mid morning now. Um, this morning, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I posted a picture of I had this camera set up as well as my iPhone with two different angles at this abandoned um, building across the street. Uh, it's an old warehouse or something. Doing some time lapses. The one for the iPhone came out really good because the sun was coming through the uh, beams on the roof that's gone. Um, but so I'm going to try to get some more time lapses today. I'm also going to be driving up to the mountain to where that college is in probably like within the hour or so. So we'll be heading up there, but I'm gonna set the camera up right now out here in the lake where it's super dry, um, or drained, I should say, and uh, to get a different, uh, another time-lapse. I'm trying to build up a bank of time-lapse and drone footage. So I got my drone as well, and I'm gonna bring that up to the mountain and maybe do a little bit of drone and time-lapsing up there also. So yeah, I'm trying to get like some, as many time lapses and um, drone footage as I can and put it into files so if I need some for like the vlogs or for whatever, I actually have some and I don't have to worry about that day. You know, if I'm busy that day, I can just pull some from, uh, from a file. So, unfortunately it got super overcast. This morning it was blue skies with just a few clouds moving through so it was real nice for time lapsing. Right now it's a little bit nastier, so I don't know how much this is, if this is even going to be usable, but I'm going to put it probably in this tree here and then look out at those bunch of trees there with the clouds in the background. So let's see what we can do. Okay, I just watched that back and it came out really, really good. I went low down here and then up at those trees and then the clouds in the background and once I bump up the contrast and everything the clouds moving through they move through really really nice so it came out really good super happy with that one we can sleep under the stars we can sleep under the stars or hang out in hotel bars driving somewhere in your car we can sleep under the stars we can sleep under okay so i've been driving around this campus probably looking like a creep for about a half an hour trying to find out where the quad in this hall is and I think I got the, I think I have it, but I'm not 100% sure. But this university, it's University of the South, is really cool. The buildings here, I've done some, I've done some photography here, some uh, engagement photos and stuff. And like the buildings are super cool, super old. Um, it's really, really nice place. But I'm. I believe that what I'm looking for, I stopped in the store and asked a, a dude, and he said it's down this way. And I've passed like some spots that said event parking. So I emailed my contact and asked her if she could send me like a map of the school and like where I should park tomorrow evening as well. It said something about having an iceless skating rink too. So I don't know what's up with that, but. Here's Guri Hall. So I'm pretty sure it's over there. Or inside. Or maybe in there, in between all the buildings. I believe that's it. It's actually started raining since I've been here, but I think I am going to get out and walk over there real quick just to take a look and make sure. I would assume I could see the tree with the lights on it <laughs> so I could just be like, oh, okay, here it is. But uh, I have the agenda and everything for tomorrow, but not an actual um, a map. I guess maybe they thought I was just familiar. This is a pretty popular area for people that live around here, but not for me. So I don't know, I'm gonna get out and take a look. Okay, so I found it. One, my contact emailed me while I was out and about walking, but I think I had it figured out by then, or pretty close to it. Pretty much what I, she's like, look for the tree with the lights on it and the big star, of course they're not on. But literally the tree, I must've driven by it 
Well, I drove, drove by it every single time I drove up and down because it's literally three feet off the road. But I guess, I don't know what I was looking for, but I wasn't looking for that. So anyways, I found it. Looks like it's gonna be pretty, pretty cool, pretty easy. Not a difficult spot to get to. She told me where to park. So I'll cruise you guys by there now. I was trying to convince Shannon to bring the kids because it sounds like it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be live music and caroling and I don't know, snacks and stuff. So it sounds like it's gonna be pretty cool. But Miles has the same evening, has a thing at his school where they're gonna watch Elf in the gymnasium. So I think he wants to go to that probably more. So that's probably what they're gonna do. But this is gonna be cool. I'll be here for, I think I get here at, it's four to 5.30 or 4.30 to 5.30. It's, it's like an hour and a half. And it's just gonna be me roaming around taking photos. They're just looking for some roving photography. And it's not a huge paying gig. Um, but it's enough to, I'm more doing it for the exposure um, because I asked the university to let me use the photos in um, promotion, like on the website and social media. And like I said, I think it's more just the um, getting here. There's the, there's the tree right there, which we passed a thousand times. But um, I, it's more for the connections which is what everybody talks about with anything in business is you know your connections that you make see there's the tree again just like literally right where i drove by 10 times uh and now that i see it i'm like wow look at all those lights on there should have been easy to see so but anyways uh yeah so i stopped at this uh cool place to get lunch i scarfed it down though because i was starving it's just a sandwich from a place called mountain goat Mountain Goat Market, I think was the name of it. Had lots of cool stuff in there. I'm gonna bring Shannon back there because it was really cool. But I got a couple candy bars for the kids. I got, um, it's a candy bar. It's a chocolate bar with um, fortune cookie bites in it, like pieces, and then a red velvet one for Shannon, the cookie, uh, fortune cookie for Miles. He likes fortune cookies and he likes chocolate. So I'm assuming he's gonna love this candy bar, but he's the type, sort of like me, where, if something even if it's some two things he really really loves he may not be willing to try it together i had an awesome sandwich it was um turkey bacon lettuce tomato and avocado and i've never had avocado on a sandwich i just now started liking guacamole and i've been afraid to try avocado on a sandwich but they had it there so i tried it and it was amazing so anyways gonna head back to work now finish out the day and then we have the dustin lynch concert later Ready? So we are now leaving the house, heading to the Dustin Lynch concert. Shannon and the boys had already left. Um, they went there early in case there was a line and we didn't have to sit there. We couldn't find a sitter for Grace, so Grace is going to sit on my lap. We'll see how that goes. I don't predict well. Um, but they're already there saving our seat. We're about 50 minutes until showtime, so I'm going to head over there. It's about 20, 25 minutes away, grab something to eat, and then we shall be there. So we were at the high school. Walking in now. Oh, you fixing your hair for the camera? I don't know how good this is coming out because it's pretty dark. So, hopefully this goes good. You can be good? I think that means no. about half an hour and that half an hour was before they got in I got to the stage and once they got to the stage she let loose and was crying and whining and wanted to get out so now I wish we wouldn't even have came because now I'm bummed out because I really wanted to get photos but that ain't gonna happen now Hello. <laughs> as you saw the fireman coming out um, Dustin also does 
he asked you to bring toys for toys for tots, so they got a ton of toys today for toys for tots, so big ups with that. We gotta go to the car, honey. Come here. Daddy! 